Let's watch this video. Let's check it out, dude. Hi, everybody. I'm Cora Georgiou, lead initial designer here. Oh, at BlizzCon, I met Cora. She's very nice. You're on Hearthstone, and I'm here today to welcome you to Hearthstone's next expansion, Whizbang's Workshop. And what better place to do that than from within Whizbang's legendary workshop and toy store? This fabulous factory is where all the best toys in Azeroth are made, and it's the perfect place to kick off the celebration of Hearthstone's 10 years of fun. Whizbang, Can't believe Hearthstone's master been around 10 years now. Isn't playing around. This set has everything Hearthstone. Iconic characters, throwback mechanics, and tons of Hearthstone's trademark whimsy. We'll just take a look at the whimsy meter. The whimsy meter. Whimsicle. Uh-oh. Anyways, come on. Let's see what everyone's working on inside. Hey, Val. Oh, hey, Cora. What you got there? This is Whizbang's miniaturizer. It's also how we turn all these minions into toys. It's also how we came up with a new miniaturized keyword. Whenever you play a card with the new miniaturized keyword, you get a one mana one one mini copy of it in your hand. Take this Tigris plushie, play it to stabilize in the mid game. And three mana, three, two, miniaturize, rush, lifesteal, divine shield. So like when you would play this, you just get a one mana one one version, but it would have rush, lifesteal, and divine shield. It loses out. Once you play miniaturize, like you don't get miniaturize again. Why is closed captions? And it leaves behind what do you mean? a cheap. Click for settings. I am. I don't need. I don't need a Chinese CC. How do I change that? Click the gear. O. <laughs> it's like, why is it converting to Chinese? <laughs> oh shit. Keep one one version that's perfect for comboing with buffs later on. Adorable and effective in speaking of buffs amateur puppeteers five mana two six blood unholy miniaturized taunt death rattle give undead in your give undead in your hand plus two plus two and then you get a one mana one one death rattle give undead in your hand plus two plus two it's cool because it's death rattle hits its own <laughs> mini making it not so many after all it's like a one card combo miniaturize is a good way to double up on powerful effects like chia drake here which gives or mana two four miniaturize choose one gain one spell damage or draw a spell i feel like your death rattles and obviously battle cries are going to be huge but it also synergizes with that new card that came out for priest the one that copied all one mana cards in your hand so you miniaturize let's say priest gets like something that does spell power i bet there's going to be an otk there has to be because you're going to be able to miniaturize like two, like there's going to be two cards that are like one mana, one ones, do something really good. And then you make four of them. And then there's going to be a card that like doubles it or something. And then you're doubling up the four and then you're going to kill somebody. Gives you two shots at its choose one effect. I could never choose just one. Or a throwback to a classic toy captain Tarum. Just five mana. 3-7 miniaturize battle cry on to set a minion's attack and health to this minion's. Wait. So you're making one of their minions a 3-7? That seems bad. I mean, obviously, when it's a 1-1, one, one, it's good. But, like, this is... <laughs> Why would you... I mean, you could use it on yours, I guess, but like, it's still not good. It's like the original, Tarim is great on both offense and defense. Buff one of your minions when you play it initially, then shrink. You're, you're just getting, you're, you're, it's a five mana three seven. That's what you're playing. You're not changing any, you know what I mean? You're not, nothing's happening other than you're getting a five mana three seven. An enemy minion with the mini version. That's a figurine with dual use action. Yeah, or... Oh no, are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, I think we have something for this. See that whining key over there? Yeah. Some of Whizbang's toys get stronger when you wind them up. Oh, okay, like wind up musician. It's bad. Six mana, five, five, battle cry, deal one damage to all enemy minions. 
And then basically the wind up is uh like um you trade it in your deck. So if you cycle it in your deck with tradable, that's like winding it. So one trade increases it by one, trade it again, increase it by one. So like every time you trade this back into your deck, you're like think like cranking a yeah, wind up. And I'm glad I, I I know all this information now ahead of time. It's so awesome. I don't have to like make shit up. Battle cry deals one damage to all enemy minions, but each time you trade it into your deck, the battle cry deals one more. Right. I think if I wind myself up a few times, I should be able to get back to my normal size. This is gonna take a few trades though. Maybe you should see what you make shit up anyway demo. though. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just um, squeak if you need something. I'll. I'll be back later. Yeah, no problem. We are rid of all the spiders here, right? Hey, Chris. Hey, Cora. What are you working on here? Well, here in Whizbang's workshop, we're celebrating 10 years of Hearthstone history. That means making sure every card meets our stringent parameters for nostalgia and fun. Great. How do we do that? Let me show you. Here we have the Death Knight card, Lesser Spinel Spellstone. Ooh, I remember the Spellstones. Spellstones have three stages. Lesser. Oh, they're bringing back spell, spell stones. That's cool. One mana, blood. Give undead in your hand plus one. I, I don't like the buffing the hand thing. Gain five corpses to upgrade. Medium. And greater. They start as lesser. And they upgrade while in your hand. Yeah. Spellstones launched before Demon Hunter and Death Knights were even classes in Hearthstone. So now we're making two new spellstones to finish the set. Lesser Spinel Spellstone is powered by Death Knight's corpse mechanic and synergizes with all their powerful undead minions. What do you say? Does it pass the test? Hmm. On a scale of spells to one, I give it a greater. Pass. All right. What do we have next? Next, we have something positively incredible. A four mana seven seven? We've never done that before. Incredible value is a shaman. Incredible value. Discover a four cost minion. Sets its attack and health to seven. I mean, you're still playing seven mana for it, though, for a seven seven. I don't, uh, I don't know. This doesn't seem good. <laughs> this seems bad. You're still paying seven mana for it. Like, you have to pay three mana and then you play it the next turn. So, like, you're not, it doesn't summon it to the board. This is like not it. You're paying three mana to discover one card. The stats, uh, like this is a, like this is the stats don't matter. Stats are important, but like <laughs> it lets you discover okay. a four cost minion and then set its stats wow. to seven seven. Who can forget Flame Wreath Faceless? I remember the original four mana seven seven caused quite a stir. Now we've mixed it up a bit and added a discover effect. Does it pass inspection? No. Let's see. Four mana, seven, 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 seven for four mana. <laughs> yep, I think that'll do it. Passed. All right, what's next? Next we have nesting golem. Crack it open and you'll Fuck. I find a effect. smaller version inside. Oh. That's like Rattlegore, right? Yeah, Rattlegore was a warrior legendary from Skolomance Academy with this effect. Now, Whizbang's made it fun size, neutral, and common, so everyone can play. Does this one pass inspection? Yep, this one rattled. Dr. Moon. Whoa, what was that? It sounded like it was coming from the basement? There's a basement? No, that was great! I can barely hear the ringing in my ears. Oh! Hi, Leo. Hi, Cora. Why are you in the basement? What are you doing? Definitely not participating in Dr. Boom's scheme. <laughs> Who in their right mind would do that? Did you just say Dr. Boom? That's right. Dr. Boom, the real- Seven, eight mana, seven, seven, bad cry wreck, two friendly mechs that cost five or more, they immediately attack random enemies. So like big death rattle stuff. Random enemies, which means they can go face. I think the big part is they have to cost five or more, and then they attack enemies immediately. So any, like, death rattle effect or rush effect. You know what I mean? 
Seems like it'd be pretty good. The greatest inventor in Azeroth is here too. <laughs> Play him and resurrect two mechanical toys. Just be careful. Some of his toys tend to explode. Wow, he's got quite the arsenal. No wonder Hell things yeah. got so explody in here. You haven't even seen the half of it. We're in here working on Dr. Boom's greatest invention yet. It's got unity, it's got precision, mm. it's got perfection. Zilliax Deluxe 3000. This card's has cool. Anything you want in a card. While building your deck, you pick two. So when you put this card in your deck, it's like ETC where you like pick cards to put in them. This one you pick effects and then different effects have different mana costs. So depending on which effects you put and the mana costs you grab is what he's going to do. So every like, you know, there's only some however many combinations of Zilliacs, but like, you know, you can make them specifically built to synergize with whatever your deck's doing modules for Zilliacs, which combine their costs, stats, and effects into just what you need. Then, pick an art piece to make your Zilliacs your Oh, I didn't know you could also pick an art piece. That's cool. Your very own. So there are eight different modules. Eight different modules. Suffle this into your deck. At the end of your turn, deal three damage to your hero. Your other minions get plus plus one. Stealth, Elusive, Poisonous, Reborn. Battle Cry, summon a copy of this. Cost one less for each minion in play. Divine Shield, Taunt, Life Shield, Rush. At the start of your turn, double this attack's minion. So Stealth, Elusive, Poisonous, and Reborn. It's definitely perfect module almost always. That's very expensive. It's probably these two. It's definitely like aggro decks play this. I don't know who would ever. I recursive modules kind of cool. Death rattle. Can you just like keep playing it? And eight different elusive is can't be targeted by hero powers or spells. Pieces. Mm -hmm. They all look kind of the same, to be honest. <laughs> there really are a lot of ways to build your Zilliax. Personally, I like combining the virus module and the power module for a sneak attack. And Haywire module looks like it would pair beautifully with the perfect module for a life-gaining bruiser that cancels its own downside. Maybe you can improve on perfection. With so many different Zilliax combinations, everyone has their favorite based on their deck and playstyle. Just like how everyone has a favorite ice cream or explosive device. Yeah, just like that. Let's head back upstairs and ask the others which combo is their favorite. And here we are back in Whizbang's workshop. We can't wait for you all to join us. We have two pre-purchase bundles available for this expansion. And this time they include an exciting bonus, a special early access epic card from the expansion, Corridor Sleeper. Get either pre-purchase bundle and you can start playing with it right now. One mana, three, five, starts dormant after seven minions die awaken. This card's terrible. <laughs> Actually, maybe, um... Yeah, this card's no bad. And everyone... <clears throat> Excuse me. Everyone can also log in right now and... Damn, her teeth are white as hell. Holy shit. How do people get like high roll the teeth like that? They're free legendary. Califero the artist. Uh, eight mana, six, five, battle cry, draw a minion, transform all other friendly minions into copy of its. Eight mana, six, five, battle cry, draw a minion, transform all other friendly minions into copies of it. I feel like, uh, you know, it could be good. It's a cool card. One of the artist cards in the set, all of which have an effect based yeah. on a card they draw. Draw a card. Get it? Mm-hmm. 
<sighs> Sorry, I guess I'll brush up on my puns. And don't forget, we're celebrating Hearthstone's 10th year all year long, starting now with even more login gifts. Each class gets one gift spell, a card that lets them discover from three of their iconic class cards. Thanks, Zilladin. I always wanted a cursed skull. And perhaps the only inventor greater than Dr. Boom, Hearth himself is coming to Hearthstone to celebrate the heck? Hearthstone's past. When you play yo, him, yo. he replaces your hand with eight cards that make up an iconic Hearthstone hand. We heard you like Hearthstone. That's cool. So we put Hearthstone in your Hearthstone so you can Hearthstone while you Hearthstone. There's so much to enjoy and the celebrations begin right now. So jump in and join us. We'll see you in the tavern and in Whizbang's workshop when it launches on March 19th. They put in a lot of effort. Yeah, I like cards like this. Where is it? Hearthstone. Replace your hand with an iconic one from Hearthstone's past. Celebrate Hearthstone's It past. replaces your hand. You play him, he replaces and then you get like Whirlwind, Despite, Inner Rage, Warsong Commander, Emperor Tharzan, Grim Patron, Frothing Berserker, uh, Execute. It's just cool. Yeah, they put in a lot of effort in that video for sure. There's a lot of effort there. Draco, appreciate the uh, 51 months, man. Good to see you. Yeah, for value. I mean, the card's bad, but like, it's fun. You know what I mean? Like, the card is definitely really bad, but... I'm sure ran someone will randomly generate that card and then win from the value. Exactly. That card, I don't think you play it. I think you randomly just get it. I don't think that's actually a card you ever play. You can just, like... It'll get randomly created somehow.